Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, riveting, and amazing propaganda cast with your host and Pearl Dane, the one, the only master propaganda he loves, like defender of the fatherland of you till Wummy One on. Yeah, it's Bill Road again because it's well, one of the better Wummy One maps, so typically you're going to get better Wummy One matches on it. In the north, it is sunset, fighting here for the Wehrmacht to Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role of the second Panzer Dishon here, the Storm Mechanized Assault and Spearhead. In the south, it is the one, the only Skeletron, fighting for America, freedom, and democracy here with the fifth Omnivision and Mechanized, as always. Well, nearly always. Featuring Mechanized groups, 76 Militia Germans, Mortar Half Tracks, Cavalry Riflemen, and the Combined Arms Ability. We got a double gun here. Versus Rifman Dodge Truck Start. As always, a big hearty thanks to my Patreon supporters who keep the Hermana Cast going with their hard earned money. Big thanks to all those. And other people can follow the heroic example by Patreon, Patreon themselves. Piney setting for some fuel point, Connie's in the car point. Got the Dodge Truck out here for Skeletron. Apparently, also known as the Big Jeep or the Beep. Because, again, like, you know, some people like to abbreviate things in funny ways. Sandbox here. Pulling up nails. Abbreviate, but you know, smash them together. Second Grenadier Squad here for Sunset. Second Mouth Squad there for Skeletron. Sandbags down there. Pioneer Swift laying down some barbed wire. Read something about that. With the carbines, the M1, which was technically also intended to work only with sort of reaction troops. It was basically meant to be like, you know, a more idiot proof pistol because with a pistol, you're more likely to shoot yourself in the foot than with, a, you know, say a carbine. It turns out there was so many weapons like that actually end up being they were fairly popular with more elite troops. You know, there's a pair of troops used to monitor sort of frontline troops. Even the German troops apparently like to pick it up as well. This will not be the first time in history it happened, nor the last time. So there's a little fun fact. For example, had something similar happen in the First World War with an artillery version of the Luger pistol that was sort of like meant to be a carbine. And again, similarly, the storm tro stormtroopers, you know, basically figured, hey, this is really good for trench fighting. So, go figure. Rouse well, calling back in the north, Dodge Truck going in there. Fourth Gunner's Gunner here for Sunset. No commander yet. Jason the South engaged with Gunner's the Pioneers here. Sunset focusing out from the reactions. Perhaps I'm just going to wipe here if lucky. In this case, the Skeleton very wisely just pulls out. At the same time, Skeleton also moves most of his forces elsewhere because if, you know, Sunset is busy on the south, that means he's probably not so busy around his own cutoff point. So, Skeleton, I think he sees an opportunity and is slowly moving into season that I think Sunset has realized, oh, wait, they're in danger. Their cutoff point is exposed quite grievously. And also, crucially, they do not have an MG42 team. So, that does require the act to bring up the brunt of the infantry to halt such an assault here from Skeletron. At least they want any success. Back for Skeletron here, we do have the Lieutenant almost done. He does tend to favor these kind of aggressive tech orders and typically will also rely more heavily on cavalry riflemen as the match goes on. The Nears playing around the Ralph Scott here, firing off a few shots here. Two men down. But flank here from the Gunners and the Carnot TK bolt action rifles. Fifth Cali for Skeletron to help deal with the German infantry and any potential light vehicles. For Sunset, we have the tech almost done. Ralph Scott being pushed back with the Gunner as the assault continues, Dark Truck there, getting hit with a Panther first there. South here, here since they're pushed back, or at least heading towards the center. More likely better way to put it. There you go. Big Jeep is down. And fifth cal almost done. So we can see a sunset moving head swiftly here moving towards the carved point. Returning the favor there to Skeletron, but doing so with a bit more speed and alacrity. Lieutenant moving about, he perhaps went to flank around the Germans, hit them from the rear. Perhaps still anticipating that sunset might have an MD-42 out there so far. No MD-42s, we'll probably go for that one later on. You'll see some Bamart players, you know, go for like infantry builds, but they'll still eventually go for the MD-42. They just prefer more infantry in the early game because... That's kind of where the MD42 can be a bit more vulnerable due to its little bug, which I will explain, but there's still someone's going to ask about in the comment. But the bug is basically the MD42's tracking has issues, so at times it won't actually track targets within its arc of fire until like they've been around there for like a second or two, which in machine gun terms is really, really bad. That's why you'll see some Vermont plays just go hard on the grenadiers to start with because. That's not an issue with the gun in the start. You can then, once you stabilize, bring in machine guns. But again, in the early game, that sort of th kind of thing there can be a bit of a killer for some players. So, putting up there. 
tech down there, but they'd like to make a nice company. We do have the Medic Bank as well there for Sunset and the second Panzer de Sean. They've gabbing hold for Sir Lieutenant Lewis of Skeletron. He's about to caught him with the fifth gun of careful lieutenant opening up here as well. Ralph's got moving forwards. And he's seeing hits here from the fifth car being pushed back. And these pioneers also falling back. Got Ralph Godwin about here. Further south here at Skeleton Space. Nothing further yet there, but I'm expecting a Stuart Light tank here. The M5A1 Stuart. There we go. Very good. And meanwhile, I would not be surprised to eventually start seeing some light machine guns here for sunset. Like to make a nice company. Also going to go up here. Lieutenant in the car point, and we get in a surprise twister. We do actually get mechanized assault here now, which is a bit of an interesting development. And most players will typically not do this. Like they'll typically like go for the assault gun ears, and then you know some a mechanized assault group. But occasionally you see like signs of the action players just go for heavy gun and deer build, and then suddenly surprise twist, half track, you know, 250 half track filled with panzer and is coming at you. That's an interesting move here by Sunset. In the right hands, this can be quite powerful, obviously. I mean, the Mechanized Assault Group is quite good, but obviously it does also have a few weaknesses. But there you go, charging in there. Ralph's got pushed back. Fifth Cal here could theoretically get wiped out. He popped up the Pantalons in time here to engage from outside the half track. Almost had it there, in fact. I think had he done that, he could have taken the fifth Cal there, which would have left, well, Skeletron certainly a bit more awkward. Still, certainly hit him hard there. But not quite think hard enough. You got the Stuart out as well there. So this is where, of course, Sunset now has a slight issue, which is they just spent a lot of manpower on that, you know, Mechanized Assault group because this is not company's feet and they're not playing the Deutsche Afrika Corps where they can just get that for 200 manpower. Of course, with a huge cooldown. And only Assault Gun it is. But, you know, you get the idea. This means, of course, currently they do not have any anti-tank weapons except... Theoretically, Pantra Rex if they save up the munitions for it, but even that's like, you know, a minute off. So, right now, Sunset is definitely seeing the sun set upon them as this dude goes nuts. But there you go, Pantra first off, damaged engine, but certainly also tells us they're probably not going to go for Pantra Rex because they just delay that by another minute. That's going to be a like to make a nice company and a pack 40 here. Theoretically, could go for a bunch of 2 to 2s. Several armored cars can take us to a light tank and win. In particular, we got a Panther first to further back it up with. But again, that's a lot of manpower fuel, and I don't think we're going to see that investment here from the German player. Panzer's got the fuel point there, heading west was there. And he's being shot at by the steward. Light to mechanized company. Slowly going up. Half track, going up here to the front line. Panzer going to be back into it. Forming up a fresh mechanized group. Typically 250 half tracks were part of a Panzer Division's Aufklärungsregiment. A Constance Regiment where they typically be part of the Aufklärer, which was the title for Panzer Grenadiers in a reconnaissance unit was Aufklärer. They didn't really do much scouting, they were just basically there to support the armoured cars though. But they, I suppose they could do some scouting work as well, but technically that was not the job. In fact, most of the time they're just used as more Panzer Grenadiers, in particular one that were in the half track. Little fun fact there, though. Little fun fact. Then he's been engaged for the Stuart Light Tank. I note, of course, not all of them were equipped in, uh, well, 250 half tanks. Most been, like, you know, Kubelwagens or Schwimmwagens, actually. So there's another little fun story there. And the South Eap Pioneer gun is moving up. Pack 40 almost done there for Sunset. Help you with the steward. Skeleton so far has got a pretty strong lead in there. We also got the cavalry rifle out there with their Thompson submachine guns being added to the Grease guns. And he's busy with the southern victory point here. Yeah, so far, fairly uh, strong position here from the Americans or the Germans. We do get Panzer Strikes as well here. The Raketten Panzerbüchse, also known as the Offenwehr, because, well, he can look like a stovepipe, in particular the early models without the gun shield. And they kind of kicked up a lot of smoke. As a fun fact. Pack 40 there. Pantra Shake there firing off. One rocket connects. The L1 misses. Pack 40 setting up here as well. Almost cut the steward with that. 
Could the Red Tron rush in to finish it off? It would obviously be quite risky, particularly with the fifth cow nearby. Then is being met here by the Cavalry Raptor being turned into Swiss cheese in seconds flat. To have backed up the fifth cow there. Sunset had no real time to react to this. That was a pretty good wipe there from the Americans on the German player, only putting more pressure here on Sunset and the second Panzer DB Sean. Southy Pioneer moving up. And we got straight hit here tech for Skeletron. Very fast on taking there. Knowing he's got a lead and he well, needs to exploit it. So thumbs up there, sharp play. Meanwhile, Sunset inch enough going for a mortar. Problem response in the 50 cal, definitely not a bad idea. We got the half to set up a defensive position here, making it have suppressive fire, but also making it harder to take out. But he quickly pops off there, as there's suddenly a lot of pressure there. Still rushing in here, mortar ready. Strong push here by Skeletron against Sunset. Calf point hit again. North Kandis could attack from the north here. May want to start adding some light to machine and give in, and we got the Granada Mare Force in action. I'm going to catch the American with the calf point, but Skeletron has already moved away from it, so the bolt is just basically hitting dirt. And he's advancing here, some splitting off to the west, at least to try and grab some points, but there you go, massive force in again. This is where, at this point, you know, MD42 would be quite handy, at least though, smart move here by Sunset, deploy smoke on where the fifth cal is, preventing from shooting at Sunset, allowing Sunset to grab at the half point, sharp move there, thumbs up, half takes all to reach veterans one, Allowing it to reinforce nearby units. Mortify them around the fifth cal position. The first shot goes off the mark a fair bit. Second shot sort of hits. Closer one there. More pioneers we've considered, but I think yeah, more pioneers. Still, I think eventually they definitely want to start taking up soon here versus Skeletron. Loosen the eastern field point, need to counter attack there. We got the gun needs to have the machine gun inside of it. Half raft squad by the way, a bit exposed here. There we go, quickly killed two. Certainly a bit of a tricky position here, Sunset fans of then Pretty strong pin here from Skeletron, but again, the mortar here is quite the strong tool for dealing with this sort of thing there, so thumbs up for him. West Hardy Gun is but isolated. Again, they've been trying to grab some points, even sort of mined successfully. In this case, they're drawing in Skeletron's eye as a cavalry rifleman, and the Stuart Light team moves in to deal with that. So there we go, tech for Mr. Sunset. Bank here for Skeletron. Battalion Command Post is active. Probably going to go for Shermans. Some American players are big fans of the Scott for obvious reasons, but Skeletron is more the Sherman man. Tech almost done there. Grand points here as well. Stabilizing now here. And again, good use of the half trick here by Sunset. Very good use of it. Three kills, closing in Veteran 2. Ten moving up, pick on these. Pantric team could sort of help deal with them a bit. Rushing in the half team with Riesens, I suppose, is a bit aggressive. We can also, like, quickly overwhelm them and force them off the field swiftly. Pantric team here opening up on Stuart, getting off several good hits here with the Rockets. Stuart Light Tain there, heavily damaged. Up north, bit of skirmish there between Skeletron and Sunset. Sherman away for Skeletron, the M4A3. And while he could wait for the 76 most Sherman, in this case, though, the thing in mind about the same family of Sherman is that it has better high explosive shells than the same signal of Sherman, just like in real life. Which is actually one reason why in real life, the Sherman crews with the 75 mm gun actually prefer to over the 76 mm Sherman because while people tend to focus on just tank, on tank warfare, the thing is tanks also have to deal with infantry and other squishy elements, in which case having good high explosive shells is really, really important. So. Again, you'll see a lot of American players, you know, if they don't need it, they'll go for the 75 mm of Sherman, so there's the bigger, more penetration, because again, it's just better versus infantry. After falling back here, Vetsni 2 there. Very nice work, by the way, there by Sunset to get it that far. Thumbs up. Could go for Stug 3 E here in theory, though I think some medium armor would in war for now, I think, be a better choice. Maybe some Stugies down the road. And of course, in companies three, we got the Stug D. Not us, for D. Rouse Court, they're about to get murdered out here. Lot of light machine fire here from 
sunset. Yes, definitely get that Sapoma Cop Schnell. Push for some Panzerwaffe. Sherman ready here, the M43, adding the 50 cal. On top. Helping pull back. There we go, Sapoma Cop. Securing the center. Got the Panzer Trick team there. Bit of quad here. Also got BARs now going out here to scale. So many trusting off the axis in the mage being equipped with BARs. Most players will not equip the mage with BARs. They'll typically just go for bazookas there. So I don't know if that's intentional or just, you know, just something that's sort of having their scale. I don't know, but it's worth pointing out there. Show them their direct hits from the Panzer Shacks. Good chunk of health this sliced off. Pack 40 at the ready. Going to right in the corner here. Stuart taking a hit here. Charging in there, Skeletron, a very aggressive player, by the way, as you might have noticed. We'll be able to see how he responds to Company C. Each kind of attack swiftly here. Pack wiped out the guy until he called in here. I'm not entirely sure calling him. Must have been the American player. Flashing in with a half check here. I think I said went defensive position. Troops counter attacking here. Just trying to buy time on the car for T. Half check in our from the Sherman and the Steward. Patrick teaming up here. And that does force away the tank. See, Patrick team there can actually enforce the other half track. Got the steward here. Half track needs to block now. Got the fifth cal though here. Mortar joining in the fight as well here. One kill. Close to 82. Straight to the Americans. Sherman misses the half track again here. Hand up on the way here for Sunset. Half track finally goes down. But I'd say that half track did pretty well there for Sunset. Also, crucially, Skeletron, besides losing the steward here. Also lost the fifth cal here to Sunset. So this is actually, you know, not too shabby for Sunset in some respects. I mean, losing the fifth cal to the opponents could be a bit of a blow there to Skeletron. I'm going to bring in the Mortar D with those Yankees soon. And there we go. Panzer four ready here for Sunset and the second Panzer to be short. South, we've got the Eastern Space with the Southern Victory Point. Fifth cal there, number two on the way. And we got the Grenadiers there with the 50 cal. Enforcing healing. Panther forming up. Pin my machine gun not quite there because he doesn't have the munitions for it. Sherman there being repaired. Panther going for it. We got the sugar the final shooting and missing the actually Panther did hit the Panther for my mistake. Second though misses. Panther trick team hitting south. It's eight kills, vets and T2. We'll have to see what Sunset goes for next. Southfoots. As for Skeletron, might see another regular Sherman, but could also start containing the 76mm Shermans for their improved anti tank performance over the 75mm Sherman. Pantry team now on their own, though, getting a bit swamped. Pantry can go off in the Sherman. Uh, that's a big infantry push. Need to retreat that Pantry team now. We do get a good the Ladling here to uh, try and blow up some Yankees. Sherman down to a third of his health total here. Fifth coming out and sending straight to the Gundies here, though. Yikes, yeah, that's a quick retreat of Skeletron. Fortune did not sit up there before in time there. Otherwise, it would have been completely wiped because it takes too long to get it out of there then. Infant takes some heavy losses here from the Gunners and the Panther 4 here. Pretty intense close quarters fighting here between Skeletron and Sunset. And Sunset gets ahead on that one. Ever so slightly in there. Go 76 more Sherman away for Skeletron. Freedom and Democracy. Other Sherman there being hauled back for repairs. Forcing healing here. We shall have to see next, though. That said, I think Sunset may start once like applying a bit more pressure up north again, like trying to hit his opponent's resources, trying to shift the, well, area of engagement a bit as well there. And I may have had it, deploying smoke around here, anticipating something to be here. He just, you know, goes for proper tactics, which is, you know, just to pour smoke and move in. Doesn't matter if there's something there, but if there is, you're ready. If there isn't, of course, no harm done because it's free smoke. So thumbs up there to Sunset there. Tactically solid play. Sherman number two ready there for Skeletron. We'll have to see how Sunset responds to that. Stoogs or will it be Panzer Falls? I'll wait some six more Sherman out here for Skeletron. He's in the center victory point, advancing pretty aggressively in the south. 
and she's a team around here as well. Shandling forts quite actively here. Panda 4 and Pantry Team looks like they're ready here. There you go. Several hits there on the Sherman. Panther 4 moving in. This shoots misses. In the south here, Pack 40 seemingly fired at something. I don't know. Pantry Team they're taking heavy fire from all the infantry out in the open, including the Bard Up Major. Definitely a bad place being for the Panzer Jaegers there. In the center, Lieutenant Wing 40 taking fire from the 5th Cal and the Mortar. In the south, German strikes here. Pack 40 definitely extended here by Sunset. And Skeletron charges in. Then knowing you can get rushed down there. That could be a really bad problem there for Sunset. Panther rushing south looks assist there. This could, of course, turn the tips in Skeletron. And suddenly again, his Sherman's with a damaged engine. There's a Panther 4 racing in. Of course, he's now pursuing the Panther aggressively from the north. Here. Can he take out the Sherman here before the other Sherman arrives? If he can, great. If not, this could suddenly be Skeletron's win again. Gonna be easy. They could try and Panther fast. There you go. Pack to wipe. He's gonna think try and Panther fast. You turn around here. There we go. Almost got the Sherman here. The other one, though, that has a damaged engine as well. The Panther 4 almost knocked out here. Panther team needs to get into the field quickly. Got a Pack 40 on the way here. Infantry rushing after that Panther 4 here. It's chaos. It's pandemonium. Panzer teaming up here. Panther fast on the Sherman again here. Panther 4 shooting to part supported from a nice distance. The Panzer Eager taking a loss from the rifle. Rear echelons get wiped here. Panzer team moves up here. Going for that Sherman. Gets it. But could come at the risk of losing the, risk of losing the Panzer Eager team. Panther 4 meanwhile keeping the infantry at bay here. That was a hectic development in the south. They clearly forgot about the Grenadier Squad there, which could also help the fight here. So that was lucky there for Skeletron. That in the heat of battle, Sunset forgot about the Grenadier Squad. I definitely be me. That's the guy who gets his infantry. Hands four, they need to repair strip reinforcing healing up Panzer team there. We got the ball to the fifth car. The Grenadier sitting out here. Pack 40 at the ready. Panzer Kampfagen being fixed up. Yeah, the Grenadiers there got wiped out. He may want to replace them. Maybe some more Panzer Grenadier. Gonna do so even assault gonna do there you go. Pack 40 sees tip of skeleton, better blow there to sunset. Let's see what he's planning next. So will it be a panther four? Will he try to go for the tiger tank here versus skeleton? Gonna deal moving in. Fifth car there at the ready. Got not in there for their four kills, Vetson G2. Half eight to Vetson three. Sherman there being fixed up. And I imagine for Skeletron, we're looking at more 76 more Shermans for now here versus Sunset and the second Panzer de Shortgun is being hammered here by the 76 more Sherman. Seven kills, Veterans you want. Snuffs out another poor bastard. Got the Panther on the moves well. Pack 40 moving in. Panther team there though, around the center. Lot of infantry right around the corner that could make things miserable here for his Panzer Jaegers. Quite quick, but there you go. Fifth kill to the rescue there for the Panzer Jaegers. Might even see a return bun grenade instead here. Yup. Could have run, I think, a bit further there since he probably was going to expect they're going to treat anyways. I where they are routed. Center there, we got the American fifth car there, and we got German pioneers in Norfolk's. Taking advantage of all the funding around here to dispatch Norfolk's there to that way, just grab, grab all the, well, unguarded territory. Thumbs up there to Sunset, Pantaforming up and getting the Raft Squad back at base here. We do get tier 4, so it is very likely here that Sunset might be going for a Tiger tank here. Or something from the Heavy Panzer Corps. But certainly with mechanized assault, I'm definitely more likely to suspect mechanized well, the Tiger Tank here. And we do, I think, get the beta there wiped. Good wipe there by Sunset. Particularly since there's like two bars on them. He does replace the major, interesting enough, and he's going for another 76 with Sherman. Turned here, rushing and backed up with the Sherman. Eight kills, closing in on Veteran 2. Rushing after those Punita. Southie Pond being grabbed by the Panzer Eagers. The Panther 4, they need repairs. It's also close for Etienne 2. Granada and Manfred being held forwards. Bombarding here in the 50 count. North Sherman, the move here for Skeletron. Smoke deployed again. Very efficient work. Of course, the Sherman this time around is going to slightly mess with that. Good shot from the pack forward in there. Good fifth coming into the Grenadiers to try to get out of the smoke. Almost getting wiped here, in fact. Close call there. Second, 76 Sherman ready for Skeletron. And the fifth armed division. Infinite being routed from the south towards the center to try and prevent 
A victory point falling to the hands of the Germans. He does go for the heavy panzer, of course, so may just be a panther from Sunset. Or he may just be going because he thinks he needs it, or he just wants the manpower cost reduction, that kind of is, I don't know. We'll have to see, but he does have the fuel for the panther, he just needs the manpower. Or to find the south here, killing a few riflemen. Very close to if you on that one, panther force setting out. Seconds away from a panzer come fucking fun for Sunset and Deutschland. Oof, almost got the Ralph Squad fight there with a mort another mortar hit. Enemy forces have 300 points. <coughs> Northern points being seized by Skeletron. Quick to move in. And we do get a Panzerkampf Wagen Fünfier for Sunset. Panzer 4, they're close to 2 in the South Puny advancing. Sandbag Stan, good news about as well. We got the Panzer 3 team there hauling the Raketten Panzerbuchse about. One third of the way done in that Panther, smoke again in the center. Very consistent pattern. Thumbs up. South here, Punier caught by the Sherman there. Panther halfway done. Panther four, they're trying to snap some the lieutenant a bit. They're also trying to stay clear of the Sherman there since Sunset is quite aware any engagement with the Sunset from Sherman is not going to be fatal for the Panther four. I mean, it could still win it technically with a bit of good RNG, but typically you shouldn't try and rely on luck like that. Shumbling into the center here. Close to 82 on that one. Panther is almost done here for the sunset in return. Article crop the fifth cup. There you go, Sherman engaging the fifth cup. Panther four moving in here. There you go, Pack 40 joining in. Make sure on the Panther four. He could try and blitz after the Sherman finish it off here. Look, there you There goes second Sherman attack from the north here, preventing him from doing that. Panther though is around the front line here for sunset and the second Panzer to be shown. Second Panzer Regiment. First battalion in the case of Panthers. Panther fours were typically the second battalion. Fun fact. Panther 4 need repairs. Panther shoots. Misses. Panther wing full beds. Adding the pinlight machine gear. Norfolk again with the Panther Shake team. This rate, I think Skeleton's not too far away from like another Sherman here, either 75mm or more likely 76mm in this, since you're now seeing the Panther, I think he's more likely to consider a, you know, more upgunned Sherman versus the Panther. I could be wrong though. That's certainly be my suspicion. Up north here, Panzer Jäger team, Grand Northern Point here. I'm surprised he's using the Panzer Trick for that rather than using some infantry because I'd imagine he'd want to keep the Panzer Trick team close to his Panzers so that way increase the odds versus the Sherman because they do provide a nice bit of burst there with their Panzer Tricks. That can really make it difficult for the Americans to keep the tanks around for long. So I am surprised he's using them all the way up there. Panzer 4, Panzer 5 in the south versus the infantry. Then he's bringing up there, go counter attack here. Skeleton now swarms upon the inf armor here, hoping to catch him off guard here. But Sunset hit quick to respond, holds his tanks out of there. Sherman's on the move here, including the Vetsu 2 1 with the radio net bonus. Like he works like pop combined arms as well. That Sherman could really leverage some heavy firepower here versus Sunset. I don't know if he's going to do it. Gunny's taking a loss of here. Patrick team just still up north here. Guess he's completely forgotten about it. So they're not able to assist, you know, the Panzers. That's a good find there. Bouncers, Panzer. Fine Nima ripping through the turn. There we go. Right grenade off as well. And we do get an M36 Jackson tank destroyer instead. I mean, that's an option. Nope. Oh, cancels it for another 76 mm Sherman. Skeleton, clearly a fan of Shermans. Nothing wrong in that. Right from Charter, the DC 5th setting up here. Veterans, you want. Right from being hauled in, we got the pantry team attacking, and we got more infantry for Sunset. Finally, though, I would have probably gone for pantry grenadiers myself. Maybe some assault guns. There you go. Pantry team now moving forwards, right into the Shermans. Need more support here from the tanks, then. Panzer 4 is moving. Where's the Panther? It is all the way down here. Fifth character got wiped. Panther should be rushing in there, but for some reason isn't. Great for the Shermans, getting some free hits. And there you go. This is where things get a bit more dangerous now. The other Sherman also has the radiant unit bonus, so they both have a higher rate of fire. We also got the Pack 40 finally arriving here to assist Skeleton's tanks. Panther takes a little hits here, and we'll need to be pulled back for repairs again. 
Meanwhile, third Sherman ready here for Skeletron, at which point the situation for Sunset becomes, well, a bit more challenging. North here, Trick Enforcing Healing. He needs to hit some of the Northern points again. I feel like, yeah, this is one of the issues here with the Sunset a bit. Like, there's just kind of been some neglect there. And they've sort of been heavily focused on this run. They've not really tried to, like, you know, shift things up a bit. He also, fifth Skeletron has been grabbed. And honestly, I would recommend just grabbing another fifth card versus Skeletron. It's allowing to grab it back. Definitely a bit of a slip up there, I think, by Sunset. I think he's going to be able to get the fifth card out this time around. Three Shermans, and he were to pop combined arms at the right time with that, that could make very short work, I think, of the Sunset and his Panzers. At this point, I would also strongly recommend some Sturmgeschutz. Increased firepower here to match the American tanks. There you go. Veteran tanks and stuff attacking here. Sergeant Buckwheat moving forward. See, up north, the more newbie there. Corporal Green and his Sherman there. Driving a bit around there and crashing into the fence because he doesn't know how to come out of the crew around. Cavalry Rifle moving forward into the Panther 4 here. You near there being absolutely mauled by the Cavalry Rifle. Up north, Sherman going for the gun. You see Sherman up towards the center here. Panther 4 backing off. Panther team fires at the infantry and it completely misses. And now we can see Skeleton are linking up the tanks here, forming up a more stronger armored platoon here. No combined arm still. Infantry there being more, but the Panther 4 here. Half HV3. Panther there needs to be joining in. And still no sound of Stooks. He's going to try for another Panther here versus Skeletron. I mean, I suppose he could, but it's not going to be without his risks either. Panther team being mauled by the Shermans. Panther still hanging back. They're waiting repairs. Not assisting the engagement here. Panther team being absolutely shredded there. Pack joining in as now. Need to get the Panther 4. The fifth card setting up. Peace. Sherman takes it. Finding is intense. No real action to flank around. And crucially also no combined arms here from Skeletron. This is, I think, the biggest blessing right now for Sunset. He's just, you know, not using that one at all. It is a very powerful ability, even after they nerfed it. Sherman there, they're heavily damaged. And I think this could be a good opportunity for Sunset to rush in, if he does it correctly. we got a pinsman here with the tank. See it? Thumbs up. Need to get into support here, though. Pack joining in there. Sherman down to half health. Panther, though, taking heavy damage. It's every shot just punches through the 80mm armor. Got one of the Shermans, and that was not the most veteran. There, go. In fact, we got another veteran. In fact, that was Corporal Green's Sherman that went up in flames. Not so green anymore. Panther 4, they're near the 80 Sherman. They're going for the kill here. Up north of the Sherman, could move their Panther back to base here. Sherman versus Panther 4. Fifth cal falls back from the center point. He has a tilt calling. We do get combined arms, but sadly. Too late from Skeletron to really affect the battle there. Had he popped it, I think, right then and there, there's a good chance that Panther would in flames, and so would have been the Panther 4. So, a bit slow response there from Skeletron, but at least he's trying, he's trying. You know, that's you know one of the keys towards getting better is actually trying to use stuff. Even if you're not used to it, you got to get used to it. Sam has it, you know. Don't mind it if you're not, like, getting off perfect execution the first time around. Just keep at it until you sort of get the hang of it. There you go. Third Sherman almost done. If Gal's setting up, Pickle needs unleashing hell on the return here. Yeah, he's close again on another Panther here. First Panther there by the veterans who won. Smoke deployed here. Rifle for the smoke key. Skeleton just wisely pulls back here. Yeah, two veterans, two, two Shermans, including one on which I imagine yeah, he's really close to T3. Could definitely be bad news here. Pack recruit now by Sunset. Cap Rifle charging in here. No grenades done. The pack crew is immediately just slaughtered there by the Shermans. Skeletons having none of that. There you go, Fresh Sherman ready. Meanwhile, here Sunset could go for another Panther. He's actually dreaming about Tiger Tanks now. Or, more likely, he can't go for either because he's got too many units. At which point, he could still go for the Stug, which I would recommend anyways. There you go, third Sherman ready again. Shemming 40. Panther team they're routed by the Shermans. Smoke deployed here, but a bit late to the party. Panther moving up. Still not a lot of action across the northern flank. 
Panful attack north, south of the mean, backed up the pound. It's crucial that this also means he's isolating the same position. The southern Panthers is quite isolated. There you go. In fact, we see the bigger issue now gets hit with the Santa tanks. Other charts, another Panther's moving, but there you go. Flanked by the Pat Sherman's here. Situation here for Sunset is getting highly chaotic here, but fortunate for him though. Skeleton backs off. He does not pursue. Part because he could have probably attacked a bit better as well. There you go, Gunnings. The center now exposed here. Situation is constantly shifting gear. And Sunset is trying to keep up with the thing. The decision making required to really keep this going. Meanwhile, this is more Skeletron's element. Again, he's a very aggressive player. So one thing to get a bit more loose and fluid, a bit more aggressive. This is the sort of element he thrives in as a player. And so he's much more willing to like make those decisions required. Whereas against Sunset, it sort of, you know, shies off there. Gets a bit hesitant. And there you go, charging in with the Shermans here. Almost got the Panther here. There we go. Panther down. Infantry in trouble here. Going for the Panther 4 here. A Sherman. Regular Sherman here. And there we go. The Panther 4 down. Suddenly, Sunset's lost all of their tanks. They do call in a Tiger tank. That's two A Shermans, though, versus. No, it's 76 of Shermans. Versus one Tiger tank here. Infantry also took quite a few losses. The Mortar got wiped here. Definitely a bit of a spotty situation here for Sunset right now. There's a Skeletron Titan moving forward. See, neat. Well, some support for that one for sure. Shams have been repaired. Can't rather take a hit from the Titan, and it's 88mm gun. The Kampfang Kanone 36, adapted from the Flak 36. There's some, I think, slight changes made to it. Fifth Guard almost wiped out, and there we go, utterly annihilated here. Two A Shermans, in this case, pulling the feathers from front and a very smart move there. But the Skeleton obviously want to like rush, risk the Germans moving up and sort of catching up with a Panzer Shrek. Red Tiger Tank. Major again for Skeletron, big fan of that one. 107 for 59. Again, feel like Sunset focuses, you know, very much just on this part of the map. There's very little attempts to, like outmaneuver Skeletron. This has, you know, some unintended advantages for Skeletron because again, it means he can pretty much predict most of the time. Where Sunset is going to move, that makes it much easier to again deal with Sunset as well. To set the right, you know, lines of fire because there's like no chance for some like you know Sunset's going to like you know suddenly pull you know an Arden's Blitzkrieg maneuver and suddenly hit him from an angle he's not ready for at all because that's just not what Sunset does. So in this regard, you know, having different paths of attack is actually like really advantageous. And again, that's sort of what Skeleton also could do. Grass, though, again, he could attack Wolf for here, admittedly. But he's certainly, comparatively to Sunset, his attack patterns are less rigid. And again, he's more opportunistic. And there you go. We do get combined arms here with two A Shermans here. This is really bad. And you can see that the target tanks are taking heavy damage here from the combined arm Shermans. They just fire off with such rate of fire here. Infantry also just blasts away. The Titan points with base here. Packs in trouble. Fifth Cal's in trouble here. An absolute mess of situation here for Sunset and the second Panzer Strong here as Skeletron the 5th Armour just completely crashes through the front gate here like a drunk driver in a car filled with fireworks in from there being absolutely multi casualties for Sunset are just piling up here Tag Tank rushing in he has to of course commit it but it's a really really awkward look here against Skeletron and Oliver Sherman's. And there you go. Another unit wiped here. The situation for the fifth punch or second punch units completely and utterly collapsed here. Like a house of cards in an earthquake zone. Panzer team almost wiped out as well here. And the ace Sherman there just keeps murdering the tiger tank is obviously no slush. There are the pack for being up here. And there we go. Goes for the flank with the regular Sherman here. Hitting the tiger in the rear. And there we go. Now the center six from the Sherman goes for it as well here. And there we go. Almost had it there. But there we go. Regular Sherman here takes out the tiger. And with that, Sunset is very much out of the war here. GG. Game over. A beautiful win there by Skeletron. A good use of mechanized and even some nice combined arms usage. Two thumbs up. They are certainly highlighting some of the good elements of an aggressive player. Sunset again, I think partly suffered from being too predictable, but also not pressuring across the map enough, giving, I think, Skeletron too many resources and also would have benefited from Panzer Gun here. Similarly, I think they could have gone from Stukes early, like even though, like, you know, when they had the Panther 4 and the Panther, I think a Stuke has still been a nice element to fit in to help match firepower with the Americans. So, all the way, I hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell friends, tell the family, but don't tell our enemies. This is Imperial Nation. Cheers. Thank you all for watching. Until tomorrow again for another episode. And of course, consider donating or 
like you on Patreon, or you can pre-order comments for you by the link in the comments. Use the code 6 the G. Cheers, everyone.